Hi everyone, it's Ann Shumbo with Vista Sotheby's with another Tuesday tip. Today's tip, it's all about sewer inspections. Fun stuff, right? What prompted this Tuesday tip was recently I had first time home buyers buying a property in Los Angeles. And that all came about because previous clients of mine had bought a property and right after they moved in, their sewer line backed up right after they closed, costing them five to $6,000 replacing the line. So one of the things that I've encouraged all buyers to do when they're purchasing a property is to get a sewer inspection. That's in addition to your general inspection. So what happened is they run a camera through the line out to the street to determine whether there's any corrosion, whether something needs to be replaced, whether it needs to be cleaned out. And one of the things that we found was closer to the street, which is actually owned by the city, the actual section there was concrete. Well, as of 2007, that has been replaced. And since this property has not done any remodeling, how does that affect my client? They were considering doing an addition to this house, adding an extra bathroom. The house as it stands is a two bedroom, one bath. So if they add that extra bathroom, what this would have done was it possibly could have cost them an extra eight to $10,000 because the house itself, the way the line is structured is not set up or adequate for an extra bathroom. So the city, when they go to permit this, would likely make my clients replace the line from theirs to the street to plastic. That would cost my clients nine to $12,000. So why is that important? Well, if they're budgeting already for a remodel, now they have to factor in nine to $12,000 for the potential for the city to have them replace that one section near the street. They have to decide whether that's something they wanna move forward with and can they afford to do that remodel. So it helps me when we're in negotiations during our request for repairs. This is where I work on behalf of my buyer to negotiate a credit because in this case, the seller was likely not gonna be doing any of the work. So it's my job to go back to the seller and help to negotiate the contract and ask for a credit for my clients. In this case, we were able to get a credit, which my clients were able to apply. And my clients decided not to be doing the bathroom remodel right now. They're gonna hold off knowing that this is an additional cost for them. But it allowed them to make the decision before they purchased versus getting into a home and finding out that there's this extra nine to $12,000 expense that they were not expecting when they were doing their bathroom remodel. So they were able to make the decision now for the future. So the tip of the day is get that sewer inspection. So you don't have any unexpected expenses that you didn't think you were gonna have. So if your agent has not recommended that you get one, Make sure you use your voice and ask your agent to recommend a great sewer inspector. Until next time.